I hope by now that this Konos volume is not scary anymore and that you're very excited about diving in and picking your character trait out and selecting your activities and getting on with them and spending as much time as you need to with them and putting your formal lessons in where it suits and where it's best. I suggest if you really want to get a very good taste of Konos living and to get into the lifestyle and settle down into it, that you actually just do Bible study in Konos for a while. A good few weeks, if not months. Don't be alarmed by that. Many people have done it and they've, they are the better off ones because they've got so into the lifestyle that they haven't caused, got themselves all um, focused on school at home and making sure that the formal is done. They got into Konos living and then they added the formal and they, there's no harm in that. Their children aren't behind because of the fact that it's one-on-one -on -one tuition. They catch up quickly. Catch up to what exactly? You know, are you measuring them against the system, systems of the world, against what school systems need them to be so they can move on to the next grade? You're not doing that anymore. By being at home, you can go according to your pace. If you decide to take a few months off because a baby's arriving and you're going to just carry on with Bible study and Konos only, so you've got directing your children and play, you're busy with the baby, but you're directing them with play because you've read through all the activities and you can be giving them things to do that don't require you needing to actually sit down and do a lesson. It's okay. They're not going to suffer from not having done formal lessons for a few months. When you are in a routine of doing formal lessons, I do suggest you keep it sequential and little bit, little bite-sized pieces at a time, as I mentioned before. Just before I go off that topic, I can just share a testimony with you that um, I was unwell for a while, in fact bedridden for a couple of years. So you might wonder how does a mom who's bedridden get on with Konos living and the formal lessons. Well, our elders taught the youngest some of the lessons that were required. In, in other words, he read to her a little bit every day to keep his reading brushed up so he didn't you know, become rusty with it and have to relearn it. And um, maths happened by baking in the kitchen and what have you, the older one with the younger one, and dad helping out, of course. But what happened in that time of being bedridden? I'll tell you what happened. Bible study, a lot of reading aloud, and lots of Konos living, and not so much focus on the formal. And so were the children behind when I was able to now really give that my attention again? Not at all. They were so enthusiastic and ready and keen to learn that they were the ones that were devouring their formal books. In fact, I had to slow them down because they were so keen to get on with it. So please just relax. Don't get into school at home, rather get into the Oikos learning lifestyle. It's, it's a joy and a delight and the fruit is just phenomenal.